Hello everyone! This is Judena Fon and I am your favorite podcaster, future teacher, and now vlogger. And welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about something professional and that is to compare and contrast the past, present, and future learners. But first, we need to look the part. Transition in <laughs> so, first, we are going to talk about the past learners. The past learners. The learners before the present. If we are going to compare and contrast different era of learners, which is the past, present, and future learners, we also need to assess what kind of education they have or they will have. First, we need to know how do they learn, in what way, and in what means. How is learning implemented? And how are concepts and instructions delivered? If we are going to go back a hundred years before, what is education then? Education is a thing for the elites and the powerful. Education is available only for those who can pay for it, and it is even gender bias. It means that the only one that could go to school and learn are the boys. But with different protests and um, movements against the education system, later on, learning became open for all. With limited resources, learners from the past relied on their teacher and the books to learn. It is said that the curriculum does not cater to diverse capabilities and potentials of the students and that the mode of instruction is teacher-centered. Learners doesn't have the freedom to learn with their own means. They are barricaded with standards and expectations set by the curriculum and the teachers. And now let us proceed to the present learners. Learners are given the freedom to explore the world of knowledge in almost endless ways and unlimited means. Examples are through the internet, books, ebooks, or online, online libraries, and even um, countless softwares that can be used for learning. Learners are the top priority in the education system. Curriculums are suited to the capabilities and potentials of the students, which gives learners an opportunity to harness their skills. Learning in the present time is limitless. The curriculum caters to the diversity of capabilities and potentials of the students, which makes learning more engaging and more interesting for the students. An example of this is how students still um, have the chance to study beyond the current crisis, which is the COVID-19 pandemic. Students continuously learn with distance learning, which makes learning more flexible and possible. Now, let us proceed to the last one, the future learners. With the continuous advancement of the world in many aspects, Education will surely advance as time goes by. Learners in the future will surely have all the means for learning. Every gadgets and software that they can use for learning, learning in the future will be limitless and instant. With that given, learners will be more equipped with necessary skills that they can use. They will have an easier access to instruction and concepts. Given all the characteristics of learners and learning from different eras, what conclusion can we draw from them? We can say that education also goes through a phase of improvement and advancement. 
as the world advances and begin to have new needs, education also um, shifts in order to meet that needs. The only thing that the different era of learners have in common is that they are the product of a certain phase of education. Changes in the education systems happen to meet the new needs and that creates what they differ from each other. That is the end of our vlog. This is your favorite podcaster, future teacher, and now vlogger. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching. Yes. Bye.